Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about how to create unique characters in your Stable Diffusion animations. These characters are the foundation of your animation projects as I mentioned in the community tab. There's a really cool feature in ComfyUI called IPA Adapter. Essentially this feature allows you to use an image as a prompt, which is why it's called IP. You can use this feature to create distinctive images. I found a great guide from another Stable Diffusion enthusiast who combined ControlNet and IP adapter to create a unique workflow. In this example, you can see our AI girl model uh, in the top load image node, and the bottom one contains a reference image for control net open pose. It's pretty amazing that we can create something like this as the initial image or starting frames for our stable diffusion animations. You can also use other checkpoint models to create unique styles for your animations, whether you prefer anime or a more realistic style. In my example, I'm using anime checkpoint models. Now, let's take a look at what you need to create such an image. First, you need to open the Comfy UI Manager. You can follow along with my screen to install the nodes I've marked. Once you've installed the custom nodes, you'll need to download the IP adapter models and then restart your Comfy UI. Feel free to pause at each step if you need to, and I'll include all the custom node links in the video description below. Now let's try creating another character for our upcoming animation. Once again, we need two images to get started. The first image serves as a reference for the IP adapter, while the other is used by ControlNet to determine the character's actions or pose in the new generated image. I understand this workflow might seem complex with all the nodes connecting together. In reality, you don't need to add much to it because the IP adapter handles character creation. However, you can still use text prompts to change the outfit or the background behind the character. I've noticed that after creating the high definition image, this workflow uses the ultimate upscale custom note to enhance the final output of the generative image. In this scenario, I haven't changed the text from the original workflow. It's essentially a female detective sitting at a table working on a case. I'm using the AI girl model for the character's face, and the sitting pose image comes from my previous work with Stable Diffusion. Let's try another style to see what the IP adapter can do. This time, I'm using a cyberpunk style image and a close-up shot of a female figure for the IP adapter to adapt the style and face. The control net image features a lady sitting with her legs up, Let's combine these two images to see what we get. Pretty cool, right? The IP adapter not only captures the face from the reference image, but also adapts the style, applying a cyberpunk theme to the outfit and the background. Now, let's try another scenario with a futuristic image. And there you have it. We've created our unique character for our stable diffusion animations. In the next video, we'll use this character to create an animated story. I want to credit Comfy Nerd for this IP adapter with control net workflow. You can find the link in the video description, and there are also other helpful tips for using Comfy UI. That's it for today's tutorial, and in the next video, we'll dive into creating animations with these characters. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.